Are you ready to level up your arsenal of techniques? Well, great, because I got five super simple but yet powerful motion graphics to make you a rock star all here in After Effects. The first quick technique is all about taking underwhelming designs and slapping a beautiful texture of your choice onto it, highlighting those sick ripples. To set this up, take all your graphics that you've designed and layer pre-compose them. So this way, everything will be in one comprehensible layer. Now, take a texture image or video and throw it down underneath your pre-comp. You can get this texture I'm using along for free project available in the description below. Now, duplicate the texture, set the track mat of your graphics comp to that new texture. You'll need to tick this box to enable Luma Matte. Now, if your texture is too dark, well, you can add the curves effect to the matted texture layer and brighten up your day with the RGB curve. And you can take the correction a step further by using curves on an adjustment layer to get the look that you want. So a fairly customizable first trick. One of the coolest motion designs that will certainly turn heads in your portfolio is this graphic right here, seamless scrolling tape. At least that's what I call it. All you need to do is make a long horizontal or vertical composition like 320 by 1920 or 1920 by 320. And then all you need to do here is create a solid background and then just take your time to populate the banner with titles or with titles and graphics. Uh, but when you're ready, import the banner into your main composition of a regular size. Uh, then all you need to do is apply the motion tile effect to your design. Increase the output width or height and enable mirror edges. Lastly, animate the tile center to seamlessly scroll your banner by. And before we go crazy here, let's use the drop shadow effect and double down on the settings so that our banner can stand out on a background. Uh, now duplicate, rotate, and reposition the banner multiple times to create your unique head turning design. Okay, as a bonus tip, you can crunch down on your animations and save hours of time by using our free animation presets. You can select any type of graphic or title, browse a preset, and watch your project come to life in seconds. You can utilize over 10,000 presets by checking the description below. A creative way to feature your logo or titles on top of a cool background is by using glass. All you need to do is draw out a shape using one of the shape tools, then create a handy adjustment layer, and then set its track mat to the shape that you recently created. Now, you can apply the tint effect and set the tint amount down really low and make sure both colors are white. We're getting an opaque look, but be sure to add the Gaussian blur effect and increase the amount to around, I don't know, 150 to get this close to glass finish. But to give this a more distinct beveled touch, duplicate your original shape, right click it, go to layer styles and add a drop shadow. Then go back and add a bevel and emboss. Now under advanced blending, you can set the fill opacity to 0%. So we'll only see the layer styles that we've added. For the drop shadow, I would increase the opacity and the size by a touch. For bevel and emboss, I would lower the size and for the shadow, set it to screen, increase the shadow opacity and feel free to change the color as well to create a sick motion design element. All right, this fourth technique is so important for all motion designers to know. This is how to create circular arrays and how to have, most importantly, full control over them. So you can create any shape that you want. We're just gonna go ahead and use a circle for this. And I'll animate the size from 75 to 25 within the shape layer. If we alt click the stopwatch and use the loop out open close expression, this will pulsate the graphic back and forth until the end of time. Now, we could use a repeater to make this a circular array, but that workflow is limited, so we'll just do it ourselves. Position your shape directly above the center of your comp, then using the pan behind tool, move the anchor point to the direct center of your project. And as a result, you can duplicate the shape and you can rotate it by say 18 degrees at a time until you complete a full circle. And if you offset each shape by one or two frames, you'll get this really awesome animation. If you want to take this further, pre-compose your array, and then you can animate the rotation, the final graphic using the time asterisk 20 expression, then duplicate, scale, and change the value of the time expression to create a larger master graphic. But overall, there's so much you can create with this array workflow. The last simple technique is creating this awesome sticker graphic. 
So type out your text, create a background, and select the region of interest tool and draw a type box around your title. From here, go to composition and select crop comp to region of interest. Boom. So in your main composition, plop that bad boy graphic right in there. To roll this right in, apply the CC page turn effect. Then all you need to do is animate the fold position and no problem. You can set the back page to none and adjust the color and opacity to customize the backside. Now I would throw in the drop shadow effect a couple times uh, to create a subtle shadow for your background. And just like in our second technique, we'll duplicate, reposition, rotate, and offset the layers in time to throw together a sticker wall. Now you have another way to make a statement. Subscribe if you want to be the best and always be creative.